Hi guys, just wanted to give you a very quick overview of how to quickly set up um, a 3D environment uh, using GazeSense. Um, so I can select a basic setup. What we're going here for here is just a table in front of an observer. Um, so let me zoom in here. And let's change the rotation on the x-axis to 90 degrees. Move it out a little bit. Whoop. There we go. Such as this. Let's move the camera down. Alright, so it sits at the front of the table. And let's take the tilt out. Or let's tilt it up uh, just a little bit, about 10 degrees. Um, I have a stand underneath the camera, so it's not exactly on the table. Uh, but that will give me a little bit of an approximate. Um, I also want to make the table a little bit larger, uh, so I'm going to go 70 by 70. Good enough. Okay. So let's enable external communication so I can show you the API and connect. Okay, very good. So here's what it looks like. So, yeah, so basically when I look at the table, this is what I can see. What this looks like in the command prompt is it's such. So just wanted to resize it so you could see uh, the uh, six degrees of freedom for the head position, uh, gaze information, point of regard. What we can do with this, um, let me show you a couple of use cases. Uh, KTH University uh, basically used this for joint attention using the fur hat robot. So you can see when the participant looks um, at the fur hat, the fur hat makes eye contact. And this is also shared when he looks at a, a common square. Additionally, this was used by Focal. So they have a setup very similar to ours with uh, the 3D camera, the Intel RealSense D415. Uh, and they were using this exo arm they created um, that would be guided by the point of regard on this table. Uh, so we can see it in action. So what we can see here is the point of regard is being given to the exoarm. The exoarm assists the participant's arm to that area so we can grasp the, the object or the cup.